Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Luke Innes. It's time for another DVD Blu ray update video. Is this the eighth one? I think it's the eighth one. I could be wrong. Um, <coughs> good start. I'll leave a link in the description to uh, my podcast, wish list, all of that jazz. Also, um, it's a year since I started doing this, since I started doing these collection videos. Um, I'll leave a link to the playlist so you can check out the whole playlist right from the start. It's the earliest video on my channel that's still up, is that Blu-ray um, collection video. Um, I only had 20 at that time, um, which is pretty uh, pretty interesting to look back on. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've, I've enjoyed doing this. I'm get edging ever closer to um, the point where I've showed you everything and I'll be able to just do like a monthly update thing which is the plan um, eventually but like I said I just want to get everything out there uh, first and then I will do that um, but that should be I'm, I mean I'm looking forward to that I've got enough for like three more uh, updates almost three um, once I've done this um, including like orders that are coming in at the moment um, and I mean it's one of those things of every time I think oh, I've only got to do one more or I've only got to do two more you know then payday rolls around and you know how it is I'm sure uh, you know we're all in the same boat here um, but yeah no let's uh let's dive straight into it this first one I've reviewed this is Dead Girl um, a zombie film with a fairly unique plot I'll give I'll give you that quite a unique plot all this case is battered I would noticed that. Um, yeah, Dead Girl. I won't go on about it too long um, because obviously I've reviewed it and there'll be a link to the review in the description. Uh, basically a movie about these dudes who find this uh, zombie in uh, like an abandoned hospital that they're, you know, hanging out in one night. And um, one of them has the idea to begin using her as a sex slave type thing. And um, yeah, it all sort of develops from there. Um... It was okay. I, I didn't like it as much as a lot of people. Um, you know, a lot of people really loved this movie and said oh, it was great. It was, you know, it was a pretty grim movie. Um, I'll give it that, and uh, it was uh, quite disturbing in places. But I don't know. I just had certain, um, you know, political concerns with this movie, if you like. So yeah, Dead Girl. Um, I'll leave. I'll leave my uh, review linked in the description so you can check that out. So yeah, that's Dead Girl. I think that was the first... Or was it the... It might have been the... I think it was the first review I did with short hair. So my hair looks kind of weird in that video. I'm still trying to get used to the short hair thing and it's doing a weird thing. But yeah, that's that's all good. Uh, Dead Silence. This was like two quid so I thought I'd pick it up. Never seen it. Uh, still haven't seen it yet. Uh, I only picked it up fairly recently. Um, actually it's about a month ago now but you know got a lot of films to get through man so yeah I won't talk too much about that one that's uh, Dead Silent next up I haven't seen this one either Donkey Punch um, I had to pick it up with a title like that um, I got this one in CEX and so it's still got all the you know gunk from the sticker on the front of it where it didn't come off properly I hate when that happens but it's all good I think this this was less than a pound I think so it's all good. So that's Donkey Punch. Uh, with a title like that, it's got to be entertaining. Um, I've reviewed this one, Don't Breathe. Um, I re reviewed this movie when it came out in theatres um, here in the UK. Uh, I shall leave a link in the description, of course. Um, man, that was back when I had long hair. Um, no do download code for you. Uh, so yeah, this... Uh, <laughs> I haven't got a chance to watch it since the... Um, you know, well, I, I watched it when I reviewed it when it was out in the cinema. Um, but, I mean, I, I enjoyed this movie. I, I, di I did really enjoy it. I, I thought it was a very memorable, um, very good twist on the whole home invasion idea. I, I, I did enjoy this one. So, yeah, don't breathe. That's that's a, a pretty good movie, I think. Um, I, I will get round to watching it eventually and... Uh, you know, I, I imagine I will enjoy it as much as I did. Uh, next up, Drive, Nicholas Winding Refn. Um, yeah, it was a good movie. Everyone knows this movie. Ryan Gosling plays a stuntman who 
moonlights as a getaway driver. Um, yeah, very strong, you know, violence and stuff. All of that's really good fun. And the story's quite interesting. If you're into Wind and Ref and you'll have seen this and you'll have enjoyed it, um, I happen to think he's a really good filmmaker. Um, I know that, you know, people are somewhat divided on him, you know, um, a lot of his stuff. You know, a lot of people didn't like the Neon Demon. I thought it was really good. So, you know, it's all... Pardon me. It's all good. I like Drive a lot, though. I think that's a great movie. <clears throat> Next up, we have The Exorcist DVD Trilogy. Um... So this contains, obviously, the first three Exorcist movies. At the time, that was all the Exorcist movies. Um, so that's The Exorcist, Exorcist 2, The Heretic, and uh, Exorcist 3, also known as um, Exorcist 3 Legion, I believe. Um, the two discs actually in here, I think there was another box set, a later box set, in the CEX where I bought this at the time. And they come from a later release because they've got the newer BBFC certificate on them um, as opposed to the box which has the older one on um yeah i i mean i haven't watched the other two movies yet i really like the original exorcist um just like everyone else i guess um i'm looking forward to checking out the other two i've heard the second one is terrible and the third one's great um but obviously i can't vouch for that myself uh, so yeah i'm looking forward to checking that out anyway <clears throat> Next up, Frankenstein from, uh, oh, what's the guy's name? Bernard Rose. Um, yeah, I haven't checked this out yet. Um, this is like a modern retelling of uh, Frankenstein. Um, it's got Tony Todd in it, which is always fun. I like Tony Todd. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to check it out. Looking forward to checking it out. So, yeah, that's Frankenstein. Um, yeah, whatever. Next up, Funny Games. Uh, this is the remake uh, with Naomi Watts and Tim Roth. I uh, haven't seen the original, uh, but found this one cheap, thought I'd check it out. Um, and I mean, it's okay. It's an alright movie. Um, got a little bit too, uh, you know, a little bit too arty for its own good towards the end. It should have just stuck to being a nasty fucking home invasion movie and it would have been a lot better. Um, instead, it had to go for this whole sort of, you know, quite silly art house approach. Um, in spots when you know I sort of think if you're going to do that you've really got to fucking commit to it and just go with it which this movie didn't really um, at times uh, and he did it when it felt that it was necessary like I say I haven't seen the original my understanding is that they're pretty much shot for shot the same um, so you know maybe I'll check it out but this was this was all right I guess if I'd seen the original I'd say don't bother with this because it's you know I guess kind of pointless but it's just the version that I saw. So yeah, that's Funny Games US. They call it. It's actually called Funny Games US on the uh, the title card, if I recall, um, which is you know interesting. Next up, Ginger Snaps. Haven't had a chance to watch this yet. Yeah, <laughs> there's really not a lot to say about that. I don't know a lot about it. It's um, something about the um, like. Oh, is it a Mm. Yeah, it's a werewolf movie. I didn't know that. I, I haven't re read the back of this. I just saw an 18, um, saw Frequent Bloody Horror on the back, and uh, I knew the title. Um, I'd heard the title before and knew it was a horror movie, so I thought I'd check it out. Um, oh, Mimi Rogers is in it. Cool. Um, so, yeah, Ginger Snaps. Looking forward to checking that one out, even though I clearly know fuck all about it. Next up, I've reviewed this one. The Girl with All the Gifts, my favourite film of 2016. This is... I mean, I haven't watched the Blu-ray yet. I'm looking forward to watching the Blu-ray. I probably will <clears throat> once I've done filming this video. Um, this film is amazing. Um, or at least when I saw it at uh, the theatre, I was absolutely blown away by it. I thought it was a fantastic um, post-apocalyptic zombie infection movie as you'll know that's probably my favorite genre of horror um and as a result i this the i mean this would be in my top 10 of all time based on the one time i've seen it i, I obviously i need to watch it again um but yeah no go of all the gifts is yeah superb film i think so that's highly recommended go and check out my review for a little bit more insight into that 
Next up, Hardcore Henry. This movie was... I had really high hopes for this. Um, because it just looked like a really all-out bonkers action movie, which is the kind of action movie I like, you know. Um, you know, the sort of, you know, the 12A action movies don't really do it for me, but the 18 ones generally do. Um, this is a decent movie. Um, I feel like it got a little bit too, um, well, not too serious for its own good towards the end, but, you know, it should have just stuck to being nothing but a silly action movie rather than trying to, you know, work other things into it, I think. It's almost, like, almost totally shot in the first person, which is interesting. Um, it doesn't always work, though, because there's a lot of times where it's, you know, like, you know, barely fucking... Can't even see what's going on because it's shaking around so much because obviously it's simulating, you know, human movement. Um, but yeah, Hardcore Henry, I thought it was all right. I thought it was, you know, the blood and guts was quite good in it. But other than that, um, I give it a mild recommendation. It's it, it's definitely not the best movie that I saw last year, but it's 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 half decent. It's all right. And hey, it's on entertainment in video, and you guys know I love entertainment in video. So you know. <laughs> It's another one for the entertainment and video collection. Uh, next up, Hatchet 2. Um, I saw this movie around when it came out, but I can't really remember it. I know it takes place like straight after the original Hatchet. Um, but hey. I mean, I love Hatchet. I think Hatchet's great. It's, it's a comedy movie. It's not a horror movie. It's not a horror comedy. It's a comedy movie. And Hatchet 2, I, 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 just, I just, you know... It's I, I can't remember it at all. I've got to be honest. And uh, this one I've never seen. Hatchet Three. Um, I saw them both together in in the shop. They were fairly cheap. Um, so yeah, Hatchet Two and Three I picked up, which is cool. You know, it's, it's I'm I'm a bit of a git for franchises. Um, if you know I can complete a franchise, I will. Um, even if I don't really like all the movies in the franchise, you know. I mean, I'm really want to get the Friday the 13th franchise done and there's more bad movies than good in that franchise frankly um, which is true of a lot of franchises I mean uh, Hellraiser I'd love to finish that one day um, and that is like mostly bad movies um, there's a lot of bad movies in the Halloween franchise and I've completed that one um, but yeah you know it's all good it's all good uh, but that's just me anyway Hate Crime is next up, and this is the first movie I've bought that is currently banned outright in the UK. <coughs> now, there are several films I own where I've bought imports um, because they are not available uncut in the UK. Um, for example, I have imports of like New York Ripper, which is currently cut in the UK. I have import an import of. Uh, a Serbian film, Human Centipede 2. But Hate Crime is the first movie I've actually bought uh, that is totally banned in the UK at the moment. Um, so yeah, this is a US import. I checked out the movie. It was not very good. Um, it's a found footage movie about a Jewish family who get, um, you know, they've just moved into a new neighbourhood and a gang of... Um, you know, drug addict, neo-Nazi hooligans break in and to cause trouble, um, to put it lightly. Um, I mean, some of the blood and gore was quite good, but it was very few and far between and very incidental. So, you know, I didn't really have that on its side. It was just a really grim kind of, not in a, you know, a, a sort of harrowing mind, or in a, you know, I don't really want to watch this way. Um... And you know the acting was pretty bad as well. I'm just going to put it out there. It wasn't. It wasn't a great movie at all. Um, but you know, hate crime. It's always interesting to see. You know, as, as a oh, fucking hell, as a British horror fan, it's always interesting to see what is considered to be um, not acceptable to the BBFC standards. Um, because the fact is that it's primarily always going to be horror movies that suffer at the hands of the BBFC because of their very nature. Um, you know, you look at the list of the movies that have been banned over the last 10 years and they're, you know, with, with like 
the exception of the odd porn film, they're all horror movies, you know. That you know, you take narrative features, um, you know, stuff like hate crime, grotesque, murder set pieces, all of these movies, you know. I really should get a few more of those movies just because, you know, it's good to check those out, you know. It's the same with anything that's cut. Checking out cut movies is a very, very good way to understand what is, you know, currently considered inappropriate or whatever at this moment in time. So I would recommend doing that for a, oh my god. I managed to make it 15 minutes without yawning. That's got to be a record for these videos. Next up, Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. This, oh, the disc's loose. Oh, that's not good. This is, I've made it, I've mentioned this a few times on the channel. This is a great movie. I love this movie. Um, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Very grim, very gritty, very disturbing. Not much to say about it that hasn't already been said. Um, Michael Rooker is just fantastic in it. John McNaughton's direction is great. Um, Tom Towles as Otis is brilliant. Um, what's the actress called who plays Becky? I'm trying to remember. I've got no tr Tracy Arnold. Tracy Arnold plays Becky in this movie. It's just this movie's just great all round. I've, I've got to say, um, it's you know a really great classic low budget movie. Um, I'd probably say I prefer Maniac ever so slightly, but only by a little bit. You know, I, I you know still think this is. Just a great movie. I love Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Next up, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer 2, Mask of Sanity. Take a look at that DVD cover, right? That's, I mean, you know, when I when I saw that and I picked it up, you know, I mean, let, let's just compare these two covers, okay? So this one says, grim, gritty, dark, disturbing, introspective, interesting horror movie with this anti-hero villain that you know you kind of like but you kind of don't at the same time and you yeah you want him to be successful but you also don't it's that you know really dark and interesting this cover just says hey i mean the cover just makes it look like a fucking banter movie and in a way the cover is is not that indicative of the movie itself the movie itself does genuinely have quite a decent tinge of darkness about it. I reviewed this movie. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so I won't give you my whole thoughts. What I'll say is it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It's genuinely not as terrible as the cover made it look to me. You know, I mean, Neil uh, Giantoli, I believe the actor's name is there. He looks like he's trying not to laugh in that cover photo. He's trying to hold it a fart or something. Um, so yeah, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer 2. Mask of Sanity. Whilst it's understandable that not that many people have seen it, um, it isn't as bad as a lot of the, uh, you know, sequels to famous horror movies. You know, in in cases where there's just the one sequel, you know, it's significantly better than like The Hills Have Eyes Part Two or anything like that. So yeah, that's Henry Portrait of Serial Killer Two. Uh, next up, I managed to pick up this movie cheap, House of a Thousand Corpses. Um, it's no secret that I don't like fucking uh, Rob Zombie's films. I think he's a shit filmmaker who just needs to stop. You know, his whole film career is a fucking vanity project because he, you know, wants to be taken seriously as an artiste rather than just being considered some fucking rock star. Um, and that's the kind of bullshit that I just can't stand when people do, you know. It's, it's like when actors form bands and stuff, you know. It's, you know, whatever. It's it's a vanity project, his whole film career. Um, he's not that good at making films, despite what people seem to think. House of a Thousand Corpses is probably his best movie. Um, and even then, it's a you know poorly constructed movie that, you know, just limps its way along. Um, can people please stop pretending that The Devil's Rejects is good? I watched that movie. I hadn't seen it when I spoke about it last on the channel. It's not a good movie, for fuck's sake. So yeah, that's House of a Thousand Corpses. Next up, uh, we have I Am Not a Serial Killer. I haven't watched this one yet. Uh, this apparently is some sort of dark thriller um, with strong gory images, according to the uh, BF BBFC Insight. Um, but it's something to do with someone trying to, I guess, get away from the life of serial killing just from what i've read i got this really cheap in a supermarket dude uh so i i mean i know nothing about it to be 
you know, brutally honest. So that's why I'm not a serial killer. Um, I just think that, that title is pretty cool. Uh, so that's part of the reason I just want to check it out. Um, two more to do. Uh, and the first of the two is in Seminoid. I've got this off a of seller on Facebook. Uh, this movie, I mean, this DVD is old. So, it, I mean, it's listed as an 18. And Seminoid's now a 15. Um, this movie is, I think it's really cool. It's basically like a low budget exploitation version of Alien. Like if, if you know, Alien is you know this um, very classy, um, artsy, um, you know, Hollywood movie, um, and in Seminole it's just like this, you know, British Hong Kong co-production made on a budget of you know forty quid with you know plastic looking aliens and red paint for blood and all of this sort of thing. So. I mean, in, if you like that sort of thing, you'll probably enjoy Inseminoid. I genuinely enjoyed this movie. Not always for the right reasons. Sometimes the dialogue was a bit weird and, you know, that sort of thing. But by and large, I was quite entertained by Inseminoid. So I'd recommend checking that out. That's Inseminoid. And last up for this video, It. Stephen King's It with uh, Pennywise the Clown. Yeah, this is a cool movie. Um, I don't. Oh, it's a dual disc. I haven't. E I mean, I haven't even watched this particular edition yet. But you know, that's that's whatever. Um, is it a dual disc? Yeah, it is. It doesn't really. I mean, it's only got one label on it. The out the outside is just like a normal. I, I fuck knows. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's all good. Uh, I I I will check this movie out again soon. They're remaking it. Um, apparently, um, which will probably be bad because that's just the way remakes tend to go. Um, you know, I, I'm not one of these people who's like, oh, totally against remakes because, you know, sometimes they can be good. I mean, The Thing is a remake. The Fly is a remake. Um, uh, Magnificent Seven's a remake of The Seven Samurai. Um, so, you know, it's not like they're totally a bad thing. It's just that that seems to be the the thing that is, you know, trendy in horror now is to just remake all the movies that were already good without, um, you know, getting remade. But yeah, it, good movie. It's a good movie. It's, it, it's a good movie. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's, that'll do it for the this uh, particular update. Uh, I'll sling another one out in a couple of weeks. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get a decent pace going where there's not going to be any sort of long gaps like there was a little while ago. And as a result, I will be able to, um, yeah, make, regulate this a bit more and just be, you know, showing you actual recent pickups rather than things that I bought, you know, anywhere up to three or four months ago um, and have just gotten around to showing you. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, peace.